All right, custom vocals. We're going to speed run this shit. All right, first of all, open up Audacity. Next, record your vocals. Ah, e, o, a. Cool, we got our vocals. Cool. Then we uh, highlight, highlight the ones you want to export, and then we go to export, export selected audio. Uh, go to uh, folder or something. Is it going to crash? No, it's not going to crash because my computer is great. Okay, FNF voices, test voices, uh, new folder. Fucking don't, I guess. Tutorial, yes. Ah. Uh, okay, we're gonna try this again. Ah, uh, screaming. E this is E. Export selected. E screaming. Ooh, screaming. Export selected. Okay, we got our vocals. Hey. We open up FL Studio. And then we pretend that we have a really cool project here when we really don't. Make a really quick fucking chord progression. Ah, T-Zone Classic. Ah. Cool. Okay, we have our we have our progression. We're just gonna very quickly load up uh, boyfriend as well, and I'm gonna use S for Zon no direct wave because I have I'm able to yes. FLPs uh, FNF voices. I'm gonna go to this one. Got to enable monolithic. Also won't save because this is a program. Okay. Cool. Do this. Go to the effect chain, apply EQ to it, just not that one, that's the wrong one. This one, boost it by 12 dB so I can actually hear it more actually. Okay, cool. Uh, reverb as well, because why the hell not? Alright, uh, you know what, let's just, let's just go the extra mile, make a drum beat. No. Okay, cool. Uh, just really simple. I'm not even going to bother with samples. I'm just going to... Dude, stop it. Dear God. I've been I've been trying out Cakewalk recently. It's been messing up my, my flow. Uh, sure, FPC. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Breakbeat. I'm just going to do a very simple aim and break. Okay, uh, now we get into the nitty gritty of our thing. Okay, so we we have our thing. Very cool. 
now what now what do we do oh i don't know what we do well you would do is you would go to this thing in your thing you would configure extra folders you would click and empty one of these and then you would navigate to whatever folder you have it in i already have my folders navigated so i just got to go to fnf voices test voices to test for tutorial then i would just okay cool um now i want to do something cool. I want a melody. Well, first I gotta make a placeholder melody for it so I can actually do shit with it and not have to just do guesswork. So, how do we do this? Well, it's very easy. We just make any instrument, any instrument at all. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm gonna do use 3 exhaust. I'm gonna make it sound pretty. Put that on number two. Okay, cool. Can't hear shit because like <sighs> God damn it needs a bass as well. Uh fine, boo bass is fine. Okay, through exhaust, we got the thing, we copy this, copy, go over to boyfriend, we put it over here. Now we get into the nitty gritty part. Now uh, we gotta think of oh, uh, how well, I'm gonna decide what voices I want. Eh. So it'd be ah uh, ah uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> These are funny voices. We just place the things where we want them to be.
Okay, now we have our thing. Yay, now what do we do with it? Well, we would solo this and then we would export it. Well, export, like only highlight what you want to export by going up here and then right clicking and dragging. Export MP3 uh, unedited thingy majiggy. Uh, we'd migrate over back to where our folder was. It don't have to, I guess. It just makes this easier. That, 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 that. Okay, another thing with Jiggy. Yes, do that. Delete all these. <gasps> I know, scary, right? Yeah, okay. Um, go back to where those were. Well, actually, we can just refresh the browser and then, oh my god, it's there. Uh, Isn't that nice? Isn't that so convenient? Okay, now what do I do? Well, you would go over here and you'd pitch the correct sample. Oh my god, what's this? This is new tone. Holy shit. Okay, so what do I do? Well, what you do is you would center everything, set everything's in tune. You turn down the variation, the trans, which is like the transition between each note. Uh, I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. And what you would do then is that you would just match up these notes to these. It's, it's kind of easy. Um, Uh, but like, uh, it might not separate them correctly. So what you do is you would press C and then Alt, and you would just cut them up where you need to. So you see a change in the form, or hear one. This is kind of funny. <laughs> All right, so now we have our stuff chopped up. So now we just gotta drag it around. Okay, cool. So, normally what I would do is I would, well, actually, I'll just show you how to do this. Uh, so, in the master effect chain, right underneath the new tone, open up a new thing, and you would click on Edison. This is an audio editor. Basically, you can record every sound into FL Studio through this. Um, so, you would just put the playhead here at the beginning. Uh, press record and play here. Cool. We done it. Cool. That's awesome. Great. Even. Um, save it as anything. I guess. Uh, edited thingy majiggin. No. Okay. Get rid of that. Then we would refresh again, and there it is. Oh my god. Uh, shift, scroll to adjust it in it, and... Uh, cool, so now I guess we can just kind of get rid of this. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. Something, something... Audio, assign it to mixer track. That's way too. Oops, that's the wrong mixer track. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> Here, this is. All right, I'm gonna distort the ever ever living shit out of this, as well as bit crushing it. Look at what bit crushing can do. Alright, so then I just distort the ever-living shit out of it. Cool, there we go. Now we have cool vocals. Alright, you got it? Cool. The uh, test's tomorrow. Thank you for watching.